please do not undermine Nepal. Yes, we are small in size, in geography. But my history, Nepalese history is much more richer than India. It's our pride. We have fought against China. We won the battle war, but you lost the war. Two times, but we were the victor at that war. Do not, do not encroach our land. Yes, we are a smaller army, sir. But we have got a big zeal to protect our nation. Uh, I am Brigadier General Prem Singh Bosnath, retired. I am from Nepalese army. First of all, my salute goes to all the Indian armies, you navies, you air force and infantry. Today, I am here to convey some message on behalf of uh, your, your, your Chief of the Army Staff General Manoj Mukundar Narvhane. Uh, for my reference, uh, the Indian Express newspaper, 15 May 2020, it published about my Mahakali River, Kalapani areas, and uh, Nepalese nexus with China. It was like a blame. So, about me, I am I'm Paracommando. I worked for the 12 years in a special force. I'm a military historian working since two decades and a half. I fought in the counter insurgency battle against then most insurgent. I have served in the United Nations peacekeeping forces in several countries of the globe. And I am PhD in military history, master in international security from Cranfield University, UK. I am master in human rights law, I am master in history, and I am ma master in military strategy. I have authored more than 1617 books on international security, national security, military histories, and I do write several articles in English and native language as well. Having said that, first of all, I would like to pay my salute to the Chief of the Army Staff, General Manoj Mukunda Nervani of the Indian Army. Sir, with due respect, I would like to say something about my country, Nepal. I saw a statement while you were addressing at the Institute of Defense Study and Analysis in New Delhi study. I noticed about two statements. Mainly, the first was Nepal may have raised border issue on someone else be hissed. Some it means somebody, some country, uh, 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 many countries have been provocating to Nepal to raise the border issue of Mahakali, Limpia Dhura, Lipu Lake, the first, the second. East of Kali River is Nepalese territory. And the West is of Indian. Yes, of course, that's true. With due respect, sir, General Narvani. First of all, I would like to remind you about the Mahakali Treaty. It was the Nepalese mistake. The Indian supremacy and monetary muscle, they imposed this treaty and made it and unfortunately, I have to say, my leaders, they were paid for this, this treaty with handsome money. So, sir, please find out which is the main source of Mahakali Kali River after the Sugauli Treaty. 
1873. You are the, from the Brahmin family, I know. Brahmin family, I know. You are military attached to the Myanmar. I could say you were a diplomat. Also, you work in peacekeeping operation or missions. You know the meaning of the, the peacekeeping or the peace. Sir, be honest. You are the army person. You are the chief of the army staff. RB never lied. General never dies. Ne General never lied. Talk to your government. Ask to your previous generals. Which was the real source of the Mahakali Kali River? Kutiangdi, whatever. We Nepalese say Mahakali. You say Kali. The locals say Kutiangdi. It is, it is obvious. It is like the mountain, Mount Everest. You have made the artificial Mahakali, Kali River. As to the local people, as to the mountain of the Lipu Lake, the soil will speak you, it answers you. It is our right to speak about your hegemony. Sir, you are the general. You are the chief of the army. You are the mad politician. Several times you have spoken about this issue as you are political leader. Yes, in this regard. And brigadier general. General never retires, never dies. So I am here. Lipu Lake, Limpia Dhura, Kalapani. All this is Nepalese territory, no doubt. Sir, we conquer it, we Nepalese. The Saha dynasty king Prithvinan Saha, his generations, we Nepalese fought for this land. The unification of Nepal started from Gorkha to Sikkim. Tista river. Then we went up to almost about Kashmir. The history is there. Ask to the people. We made this land. We made our history. Not by any colonial power. Not by Portuguese. Not by French. Not by the Britishers. We Nepalese did ourselves. So that we are Gurkhas. It's my right. General Narvhane, sir, with due respect. I would like to reread again the Treaty of Sugauli, 4th March 1816. What it says, the proofs are in your Calcutta library. It is in the British Library, London. It is in the China, it is in the Pakistan. We have got it, yes. You have deleted and created several artificial fake map, maps of Nepal, maps of India. Sir, the soil motherland is it's a equal. You, yes, you, you have been loved to your nation. So, I love my nation. I am the sixth, seven, eight, ninth generation from the Nepalese army. Several of my ancestors, they died in the battle at the war, in the victory wars. So I have been writing the military history of Nepal since two decades. I know this pain because my ancestor made Nepal, created Nepal, not the British power, not the French power. Sir, with due respect, I would like to remind you, what is Nepal? What is Nepal? Nepal, you look at the Google, just you Google it, sir. Nepal has been stood in, in the old. It is there since more than 4,000 years. Look at the Google now. The Google has been not made by the Nepalese. It is the global property. Don't think it is your part. Greater India's part. And for your reminding, 
Nepal had the big, big, big empire from Kamachya Kamarudra in the east and the Gadwal in the west. We have got that power. Even just you try to find out some petrograph in, 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 in uh, Gaya and Bodh Gaya. There are so many petrographs. Who were the, the ruler of that area was the Nepalese king. Please read it. Also, Nepal was never becomes under any, any colony. It's our pride. We don't have the Independence Day. Sir, with due respect, I would like to remind you that only Japan and Nepal was the independent country in the Asian continent. Nobody is over there, Nepal and Japan. Read your history. Read the global history. No power could govern us. Sir, it's my pride. It's my ancestor. It's the bravery of my ancestor. It's the Gurkhas. It's the Kirat. It's the Lichibis. They all saved my nation. We are from the same descending. So, the Kirat, the Magars, the Gurung, Chetri, and so many is. The fighting clans, they are in Nepal. Still we are there. We love our country. Also, I'd like to remind you, the Gautam Buddha, he born in Nepal. The Paspati Nath and Mukti Nath, is, they are in Nepal. Sagarmatha, the Mount River, is in Nepal. It's enough to identify who is Nepal. What we are. General Nirvani, we do respect, sir. I would like to remind you that. It is how the Saha dynasty, Saha king dynasty. From Darve Saha to Prithvinan Saha, Prithvinan Saha, the last king, Gyanendra Vikram Saha. They were the founder of Nepal. Not the British Empire, not the Portuguese, and not the French. We created this. They created this. So, mind it. No foreign power created Nepal. It's our blood. It's our bravery. And also I would like to remind you what foreigners did against Nepal. I cannot talk about long history. Since few, 200 years ago, several Indian Muslim kings, they invaded Nepal. They looted even the Paspatina temple several, several times. The last battle, we fought with the Gurjin Khan, with the Nepalese army. It's the first, the second. We fought two times with the Sikkimi army, the army of the Sikkim, in the eastern part of Nepal. Then, we fought with the British two times, the first in Shinduri, the battle of Shinduri against the Captain Kinlock's brigade. We lost them. They lost the battle. The second was 1871, uh, 1416. We fought against them. We fought battle with the Tibets two times. We fought battle with the China one time. We, this is the army we are having now, sir. This is Nepalese army. We have this pride. We were the victor. Please write it. What army we are. What Nepalese we are. Please respect. It's an independent nation. It's an independent army. And also I'd like to remind you. My army established on 1559. Today it is 461 years. It's the oldest army in the world. My army never celebrates Independent Day because it liberated so many small countries or principalities in the Gadwal areas, in the Kumau areas, in many areas. So I say again, my army 
started established before 461 years ago look at sir general narwani i would like to remind you some histories we helped to the british india with we damn care who was the ruler maybe the mogul maybe somebody but we we suffered to the british india that was your soil that is your soil that's your mother motherland look at in 1774 we sent almost five companies army under the command of qazi dhokal singh basnet in kashi then british go india they they asked military assistant we supported then we liberated so many british in the kashi area then after in 1857 we sent almost 14000 troops in the command of under the command of the then general prime minister general jang bahadur rana yes you say the first war of independence we don't know the british says the sepai mutiny in 1857 we send for the sake of your soil that was british india then after in the first world war we sent almost nine regiments also in the battle of ozirstan in the second world war also we sent several battalions uh, uh, i mean regiments almost almost 10000 armies we send and we fought, we fought in the burma front that is the history then after in 1948 you had a big big internal confrontation between muslim and the hindus especially in hyderabad sir general narwande manoj mukund narwane chief of the army staff india your prime minister ask military assistance from nepal so we sent almost 19000 fighting troops i repeat again look the history of operation polo in 1948 what you did at that time what the problem you had so big thousands many thousand nepalese army we were there as the peacekeepers we saved millions of muslims life hindu lives over there it was after your independence liberation from british sir we never we never harm to the indian soil indian people because we have so many nexus of religion marriage social life trade transit many things we are linked in between is is a fact also i will start to remind you that nepalese army has got long history in united nation peacekeeping force maybe double than yours the first time nepal was asked also nepal disarmed or defused kampari villain provoked by the united states of america in the northern border so many compas so many thousand compas were deployed from united states with your supports as well indian supports so we had big problem at that time so in this regard to we were successful to suppress this compari willing of china Tibetan areas from Nepal is white. We say, combat this armament mission. We did it. So my army, my pride, sir. I would like to remind you. Please do not dishonor Nepal's army. Please do not undermine army's army everywhere. Maybe American army, maybe Chinese army, Indian army, or Ethiopian army, or Nepalis army. We are armies. We are generals. We have same status. 
Your retired journals, your journals, they have been writing several books, several articles against the Nepalese army. Especially I could name it Mel General Mehta. Who he is? He talks about a racial confrontation. Independent Madhes. Ek Madhes, Ek Pradesh. He has written so many articles and books against Nepalese army, against Nepal. He talks in television. Sir, I remind you again. General never retires. That's not his moral ethics. And he's not the ex-general. We cannot say him is a general. I cannot devalue or dishonor your army. Army is army. Uh, respected sir, General Manoj Mukunda Narvani, I also would like to remind you what India did till today in brief. I remind you again, several Muslim the kings, they invaded Nepal. The last was the Gurgin Khan in 1752. Then after from a while, we, 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 we don't know who was the ruler again, Captain Killag. In 1763, he launched an attack against Nepal. Then after in 1814, 16, two years, we had a big war against then British India. Moreover, the treaty of 1950, you made by force to then Rana ruler, then last prime minister of Nepal, Mohan Samsirana. That is the sorrow of Nepal. I repeat, the sorrow of Nepal. Till today, the 1950 today, it, we, we are being as your Puppet, I could say puppet because of that tree. Sir, because of that, we are being suffered. Please look at this tree. It was one person did it, not the Nepal. The one only prime minister. You called him. It was big, big, big sorrow for Nepal. Is big sorrow for Nepal. Then your prime minister, your country never, never allowed to become a member of the United Nations. To Nepal. Always hindered. We had a big, big fight to become membership of the United Nations. The King Mahendra. He was the hero of Nepal. Finally, he was successful. So that we are being saved to become Sikkim this time. Otherwise, you could have merged Nepal into your India. It is a best result. The membership of the United Nations of Nepal, saved our flag, saved our soil, saved our soil, so we are here. So, every time, your prime ministers, your political leader, they spoke about Nepal is a part of greater India. How could you say it? Call me there, invite me there, I could talk with your scholars, military scholars, political scholars. PhD scholar, please do not undermine Nepal. Yes, we are small in size, in geography. But my history, Nepalese history is much more richer than India. It's our pride. And please do not say Nepal is part of India. Also, I would like to remind you, Sir General, Narvane. India made several blockades during the time of King Mahendra. Ask your ancestor, read the history. During the time of Birendra in 1990, what you did? Ibn Chandrasekhar, the former Prime Minister, he assaulted Nepal. He arrives in Nepal with a team. He made provocation, agitation in Nepal. That was the political assault in 1990. Then after what happened? In, during the Maobadi Maos war, which we were fighting at that time, Indian government, they stopped blockade all the weapons and ammunition. You know that. That was the next blockade. Also, 
the last blockade was during the time of, I mean, the Republic time, just uh, in 2015. What you have been doing? Just read your history. We never think against India. Never, never, never. But look at your history. Also, we do respect General Nirvani. Could you answer me, please? Could you address my question, please? You have blamed to Pakistan a terrorist or enemy because as your language, words, they have been launching attack against you, bombing you, destroying you. In this regard, could I have make a question? Why you trained most fighter in India? Why you harbored Prachanda, Bhavram, Bhattray, so many mouse leaders at that time in Indian, India? Why you supported arms and ammunition to the Maoist? Even though in 1950-51, you supported a lot of weapons and ammunition to the Nepalese Congress to fight against the Nrana regime. Even 1990, even 1960 to 63, while King Mahindra was constructing road from China, I mean Kodari to Kathmandu, during the time, your country provided arms and ammunition then Nepali Congress and they made revolution in several parts of Nepal. We have got these proofs. Finally, again I ask you, why you harbor mouse leader? So, you killed so many Nepalese for mouse insurgency in Nepal. Is it the proof? It is proof. Sir, you are the, from Brahmin family. I am also Hindu. It's not any racial discrimination or religious discrimination. Sir, please. Review your activities, what you made against Nepal. Finally, the Mahakali Treaty, it was the big deceit for Nepal. You invested huge amount, millions, millions of money to, to make this treaty. Yes, of course, this is the mistake of. Then Prime Minister Sher Bahadur Deoba, then opposition coordinator, President Prime Minister K.P. Sarma Oli, and many leftist, rightist group, even the Paspati Samsirana, then Hydro Minister, they made mistake. They made the mistake. I could say they sold the, our, our territory. Was that necessary for Nepal, Mahakali Treaty? For whom they made it? So the present problem of Lipu Lake, Limpia Dura, Kalapani, starts from that day onwards. Before that, look at your history in the map, that was disputed area. You have written it. Your country had retained it, disputed area. After the Mahakali Treaty, then you started writing the territory of India because you have created, you have made the fake Mahakali River, the fake, the artificial, with your military muscles, with your monetary muscles. Sir, it is unjust. We love India, Bharat. There is a difference between Bharat, Hindustan and India. The Indian name was given by the British. The colonial power. Well, you became India from Bharat or Hindustan. Then after, you learned this policy from the British, the Westerners, the big piece. Sir, we love Indian yet. We respect them. We travel Banaras, we, we travel Gaya. We tap Badrinath, Kedarnath, several places. Our holy pilgrim places. Sir, still, we have got the religion of Roti Beti. Please, do not travel to Nepal 
do not please also who was the founder of ek madesh ek pradesh who was the mastermind of ek madesh ek pradesh could you answer me please general anar bhane why then after ek madesh ek pradesh and blockade from those leader who have been migrated from india bihar they are minister or some leaders of political party they have been created problem in nepal always they are trying to provide the citizenship to indian nationals like fiji sir you know this problem you know my problem we respect india yet i had trained i was trained in indian army several times i have visited india several times i love india several times over the year but i cannot bear your humiliation is nepal created by the nepalese my ancestors so many nepalese ancestor we want to alive with prestigious very very also sir i would like to remind you who made the vietnamese refugee crisis in nepal could you remind it could you go back could you ask your country who bought the british refugees in nepal so who stopped to gone back to bhutan sir finally you supported maoist group then after you were the hero of 12 point agreement 12 point agreement with the barabude after that days on that day and words we have become almost puppet of india because indian supported india abolished our kingship we had a king who stood against any any his adversaries against nepal it was open it was open sacred king mahendra king birendra king ganendra they never yield from your of force they always stood against your 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 of force which you wanted to colonize nepal i sikkim to merge into india if not like bhutan sari bhutan is my friends because don't blame me because your foreign policy and defense policy is under india so that i have named your country sorry for that <coughs> also why when you of list my kingdom i mean the kings ganendra then the trouble started that the onwards now you are your people dancing over here now you have been claim my kalapani my lipulekir as your your country if my king could have been there he could not speak this this words this language after the 12 point agreement then you started constructing road you started marching your army there while the king sib was demolished in nepal through your train mouse insurgency sir please we are in trouble now because we don't have stable leaders we don't have king now in this regard respected general narbhani is the feeling of all the nepalese look at this the, the border encroachment from sikkim side to darjeeling side to kalapani look at every day you have been doing it your country is a big same several nepalese had been have been killed by your security forces in the border issues what is this your country is this indian subcontinent 
It's a big country. Why don't you look after us? It's my country, my soil. It's unjust, unfair. Everywhere. You have made border encroachment, sir. You are the army general. You should have the army mind because it's a discipline. It's honesty. You are not the political leader. You never speak lie because general never speak lie. Do and die is your motto, my motto. Please, the border encouragement from your dazzling side, Sikkim side to the Kalapani is unjust, unfair. Sir, all the Nepalese, they are really, I could say they are weeping because my leaders, my political leaders, they are not leaders. While my king was there, you could do nothing. My border was intact. While your puppet leader, they started ruling over Nepal, then after he started border encroachment in speed. Sir, it's a big misfortune in Nepal. How could I explain about it? Please do not undermine. Do not dis dishonor Nepal. Finally, sir, I would like to ask you, we are not the puppet of China. We are not puppet of the America. We are not puppet of the India. Maybe you have paid some political leaders of Nepal. Maybe China has paid some to, to, to some puppet, uh, leaders. Maybe America may have, might, might have paid to that leaders. They are not Nepalese. Nepalese are on the ground. Please do not blame the Mahakali issue, the border encroachment issue with China now. This is not the military ethics. This is not the military discipline, sir. Now you are indicated, you have indicated that Nepalese education in Kathmandu against Indian encroachment in Kalapani, Limpio Dura Ileka is has been supported by China. What it is. Do you think so? We have fought against China. We won the battle war, but you lost the war two times, but we were the victor at that war. We have got the proof. Look at the treaty of Bratrawati. We defeated China. Sir, we never became the puppet of China. Please be honest. We do respect, sir. Again, I would like to remind you, Nepal, very, very Nepal, old country, older than your country. The older army than your country. We have got big history, independent army. We fought in many, many international battles. We fought against several our adversaries. We saved our nation. Sir, very gently, I would like to remind you, military strip after 1947. That's all. Sir, let's start respecting each other, not humiliate each other. Respected Chief of the Army Staff General Manoj Mukundar Narvani, again, I salute you, sir. You are general. You are general of the world. Every general of the world, they are equal. I respect because you are an army man. Sir, what happened now? The fake Mahakali River you made. You, you are trying to capture the territory of Limpia Dhura, Kuti, Nabi, Gunji and Kalapani, almost 310 kilometers. That's our area. Also, Lipu Bhanjang, Lipu Lake, Tinker area is 62 km. It's almost 375, 80 km. That's pure Nepalese territory. Do not, do not encroach our land. Yes, we are a smaller army, sir. But we have got a big zeal to protect our nation. 
This is my territory. This is my ancestral property. Who died for the sake of the soil of Nepal? We have proven it as a Gurkhalis. Several Gurkhalis in our army, Indian Gurkhas. Sir, more than 50,000 Nepalis have been serving in your army. You have been given it the further the bravery of Nepalese soldiers, not by the law. At every battlefield, either Kashmir or Lipu Lake or, or I mean in Dokram issue, everywhere, the Nepalese are in front of on, in front line. On front line. Because you love them for their bravery. Several million, I could say, Nepalese have been working in your country for your economic enactment. Sir, it's unfair. You cannot claim my territory as your Indian territory. Please, formulate a task force. Let's do in track to diplomacy. Let's do in retired army generals in, in, in task force. You call somebody, your generals. We, 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 we will ask some Nepalese generals with a export of uh, this uh, hydrology and so on, so on, so on. 200% Kali, Mahakali, Kuti and the I mean, Olympia, Dura, Kuti, Nabi, Gunji, Kalapani, Lipu Lake, Tinker, Lipu Vanjang. 200% is Nepalese land. You are the bigger, biggest country in South Asia. Please do not tear the Nepalese people. It's unfair. Sir, you are not political leader. Several times you have spoken about this land, this encroachment. You are supporting it. Yes. You love your country, love your soil. I do for the sake of Nepal. Finally, you will be going to become an honorary general of Nepalese army. It's a bilateral exchange. Please love it. You will be the. You will be go, You are going to make. Uh, uh, going to be forester general of Nepal. Nepal also. Be fair. My honorary generals. Ex chief of the army staffs, they are your honorary generals. They have been, they have become keep quiet now, I guess, because of honorary generals' discipline of India, Indian discipline. They are keep quiet. Why they haven't spoken about our 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 land, about Mahakali problem dispute? So that please. Be honest, sir. Finally, your country is great. I'm not against of India. I do support. I expect, I dream to become you as a superpower on the days to come. Be professional army. You love Nepal. We love ne India. Let's have the border wall, first of all. Because we don't have border demarcation, so it has become easy to make encroachment to the India. Let's make, now it has become the problem in disease, Corona. Drug smuggling, money laundering, terrorist exchanging, I mean, the access to the terrorist. So many problems we have got it in, in, in both countries, for both, both countries. So let's make wall in, in our border. You should insert this intercession. So finally, I do salute you again. And finally again, do not provoke, do not humiliate, do not uh, uh, dishonor Nepalese people, Nepalese line. Limpia, Dura, Kuti, Nabi, Gunji, Kalapani, Lip, Lipu Banjan, Lipu Lik, Tinka. This is Nepalese territory. It's a Nepalese territory. Thank you, all the Indian people. Namaste. Thank you very much.